This is a catalog item. And this is a guided tour on top of that catalog item. So if like me, you haven't really used them too much, stick around and we'll go through what they are, when you might use them, and how you set them up. And welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to set up a guided tour but I'm going to focus more in this video around setting one up for the service portal specifically a catalog item before we delve too much into it though I think I'm gonna bore you a little bit with some standard waffle, a waffle. waffle around what those are because I don't really see them out there that much right if you do drop something in the comments I'd love to hear to hear for you on this topic because I think these are really really useful I just don't see them that much and I want to know why why so what are guided tours so guided tours are things that we configure it's an application in service now right but it's a tour or it's kind of a set of steps that we can configure for end users to, to take them through a process right to help them out it's all about user experience and we can use them to demonstrate users of um, how to use a new feature so why wouldn't we have this as a matter of course so if we've got a new item that's been requested or a new application that's been requested is it just a default that we should slide into projects to say we're going to do it anyway should it be asked for is it up for us as techies to say do you want a guided tour are we expecting them to you know our stakeholders come and say i want a guided tour how do they know what it is i think we need to take some of that responsibility i think we need to be going would you like to improve your user experience right maybe it's like i said maybe it's just something we do as default but i think we need to start thinking about it and we need to start thinking about it quick they're there to help train uh, and onboard users prime example new service desk user comes in um, you've got an incident form in the um, standard ui which is cluttered full of loads of um, fields we've all been there i've seen them what do they do again we've put tool tips all over them maybe you have a knowledge base you can do a guided tour. Um, I'll show you in a second how you can do, you can put um, HTML inside the, these guided tours so you can link out to a knowledge base from there. They're interactive step, steps that help users complete online tasks on the browser. So it all happens on the browser, you'll see it. And we can set them up. Um, there's three different types. So we can do a service portal, the standard UI, which is kind of the back end stuff, um, or a custom UI. So how do we set it up? What plugins are involved? Do we need plugins? Yes, we do. I think these are relevant. So I think if you've got an instance that predates Jakarta, which was, I don't know, a few years ago, I can't remember, you may need to um, install these plugins. Guided Tour, Guided Tour Designer. There's a theme with ServiceNow. We've got Flow Designer. We've got Process Designer. We've got Guided Tour Designer. It's all designer stuff at the minute. Um, but it's good. It's, it's starting to bring some common terminology for us if you've just got an instance that's post dates jakarta which was i don't know a while back um, these should already be on your um your instance okay so enough waffle enough talking about it i'm sure i'll do more of that as i go through the actual stuff that you've come here to see so let's kick off let's go and create one for a catalog item on service pool okay so let's go and uh, set it up and see what it does so if we go along to the application navigator and we type in guided, right? So if we scroll down, we get to guided tour designer. Um, a lot of things in service now you'll notice we've got designer, process designer, uh, flow designer. Um, there's lots of designers. Let's go with it. Um, but you'll get this application. And in here we've got create tour, guided tours. That's just a list of all the ones you've created. We can have a quick look at that if you like. Then you've got configure auto launch. So you can configure, oh, I'm doing that with my hand quite a lot. But you can configure these tours to auto launch when the relevant screen is loaded. Right, we'll, we'll look at that in a second. And then you've got an overview page, uh, which is a dashboard, a snazzy little dashboard that tells you how many um, tours have been used by um, who um, and when and all that kind of stuff. Stuff, stuff to look at after. Uh, right, okay, create a tour. So let's go and create one. Let's create the one I showed you in the intro. Right, one similar so we can call it service nerd mug two okay tour type we've got an option here standard ui that that'll be things like if we want to do it in the native ui 
So we want to do things like uh, an incident form, right? At this point, I don't believe, uh, unless you do it in custom way, agent workspace isn't supported on here, which is a bit of a shame, um, but I think you might be able to do it on custom, right? So let's look at um, standard, uh, sorry, service portal for now, um, in terms of the catalog of items. So we'll click service portal. Now we get to select which portal. Now, is it going to be SP, service portal? No, in this case, I'm going for employee center. Um, so we'll go for employee center, the starting page. So how do we know what that is? Let's go back. So this page here, this is the ID. So it's the cat item page. So we can copy that. You can put that in there. Be careful here because you've got Swa and me. We'll go with that one. And then we've got a role. We can choose a role here. So let's just say, for example, if we've got a new catalog item that's come out and it's for a project and it's quite extensive, um, but we want to control um not only you can see the catalog item so we can use you to criteria right but we can also control who has tours so i guess if you wanted to create or, or federate the creation of tours to um i don't know a specific group of users you they could have a certain role so they could try things out if they wanted to um although you do that in dev but you could you could give it to a certain role so you could create a role um, a custom role, give it to a group, put the users in the group and select the role here and therefore the or the tour would only be applicable to that role. Waffle, waffle, right? Let's just go and create it. Shut up. Right. Great tour. That's going to launch us into a new page. This is the, gra the guided tour designer. Now just be careful, right? This is going to say unauthorized because anyone that was really paying attention, and I hope you are, is... We've selected our portal, we've selected our page, but we haven't said what specific item, right? So what we're going to do, is we're going to go back here. We're going to go to guided tours. And if we just go to the one we created, Service Nerd Mug 2, and you can see it's in the draft status. And this is this is the, the record that gets created from uh, when, we, uh, when we put in the details, like Service Nerd Mug 2, um, and we said here's the portal and here's the page. What we can do here is add, look at this, we can add additional URL parameters. So now we can say, this is the particular sys ID of that item or record producer or whatever. How do we know that? We go back to our URL, we steal the sys ID. These are ways and means again, I'm just showing the easy way. We put that in, we save. Now we can go back to our edit. And now, We've got a page no longer unauthorized now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to whiz over to the other side of the screen up here little secret it's not even a secret last few videos um i know i've had a couple of comments around this but i've been playing with where my little window is going you know i'm in the top left at the minute i was in the bottom right um and i've been naughty because when i do that i don't notice that my head is all over the script or the bits that you want to see so i'm trying to be more conscious about where i actually am that being said <laughs> if i get in the way i do apologize i'm still playing with this just drop me a, a, a something in the in the comments below <laughs> i really appreciate it anyway back back to the um, back to the main event so now i'm on that side you can see on the right hand side here um is it right yeah, if you're looking at it it's right yeah right hand side um you've now got the kind of the the aided help to to step us through the process of creating these guided tours so if we look here you've got create introduction create conclusion and then at the bottom you've got your preview and your publish so at the moment it's draft so we can create an introduction text appears here so we can just enter what's the title um boo no we'll, we'll call it hello we'll call it hello and the text here we can say um welcome to my channel Okay, you can also just um, to point out here, you can also use HTML tags. Okay, so we can do that and then put another line in. Okay, you can do as you saw um, when I showed you in the the intro to this video. There was a <laughs> there was a pretty poor picture of me, but I did that to prove a point. You can put in um, images. Uh, you could even put in a href as well, which links you out. So you can make it a bit more fancy if you really wanted to. But let's just leave it like that for now. Click, click save. Now it says, look, 
Right, create a new step by dragging above callout onto the page. So here, now we can drag this over there if we wanted to. Callout text appears here. Okay, and we can add something here. We can say, um, this is a picture. And this is, is a picture. Trigger next step on next button or skippable. Now we can put this is skippable, so you can skip this step. Um, I'm not gonna bother. Again, I show you these things, you can go and play with them. We'll just put in one more. Um, let's put on some attachments. We'll put um, sometimes we need attachments um, for stuff, I don't know. Um, and we'll just click save. And in fact, I'm just going to go back one actually. There's something I wanted to show you. So if you just go, we just click back to edit. There we go. Look, you can have them on the right, the above, or below. So we can actually, where's that one? That's above. So we're going to have it up to the right if we really want. Yeah, let's have it there. Why not? Where's the one on number one? Where's that one? Mm, let's put that one to the right as well. Oh, no, we won't. We'll put it above. Okay, and we'll save it. And then we can create a conclusion. So we can put in some text on the conclusion. Um, Ta-da. Okay, and we can publish. Publish this tour. There we go, tour publish. Um, and we can play. So we've now done it. We can make it draft again if we wanted to. We can now click play. And this, this shows us what it'll be like. So begin tour, so I will come to my channel. Begin, we now get this. This is a picture. Next, sometimes we need some attachments for stuff, and then we get to Darth complete. So we've now created our tool. So how does that present itself to an end user? I've just created one, I'll just click play, right? That's not gonna happen in the real world. But when we land on a page in the portal, for example, we've got tours up here. On the top right, you're gonna have, um, you've got tours, I've just said that. Say it again. <laughs> You've got a list here of the relevant tours on the particular page that you're on. You're going to be able to click and it'll take you through the experience. If you wanted them to auto launch when you, when you hit the criteria, what we can do is we can go back. So we go here to configure auto launch in the guided tour designer. And this will present us with a page with all the guided tours we've got and the relevant kind of pages that we, we've got them set for. Here's the one that we've just done. Uh, one that I just made earlier. So we just click into that and we'll see Service Nerd Mug 2. Got it right. And what we can do is just select Auto Launch or Not Auto Launch. And what that'll do is when the, the end user lands on that page, it'll just automatically launch the, um, the guided tour. We've all seen it before on the portal or actually when you, you've got Tokyo installed and this guided tour just pops up and it won't go away. Bit annoying. But we can be annoying too, so we can put that auto launch on. And there we have it, a really simple guided tour for a service portal catalog item. So I hope you found this video useful, and don't forget to join me next time where I'll be going to the guided tours, but in the native UI. If you're not yet subscribed, please consider doing so, it does make a big difference to the channel. If you are subscribed, then I wholeheartedly apologize, but thanks for sticking with me, and I appreciate your support. Don't forget to smash the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video just like this one. Until then, I've been Russ, this is Service Nerd, happy coding.